Today, we are going to take a look at a typical concrete foundation. Concrete is location dependent, so every foundation is a little different. Make sure you talk to a local professional about your specific needs. As we first begin, concrete forms are put in place. These can be made of various materials and are typically reinforced for strength. They are intended to work like a mold to shape the concrete. As you can see, it is typical for the ground to be excavated in order for the cement to be properly poured. The correct measurements are made to ensure that the anchor bolt patterns provided by Great Western Building Systems are followed as accurately as possible. As you can see here, underneath the anchor bolts and deeper into the concrete is rebar. Rebar adds strength to the concrete. Here is a better view of what the inside of your concrete can look like. It is important to make sure everything is level and to check and double check that all of the measurements are correct before the concrete is finally poured into the forms. In the case of this building's foundation, about five trucks of cement were needed. Oil is applied to the mixer in order to prevent the cement from sticking to the machinery. As the cement is poured from the truck, it is pumped by hose into place. As you can see here, teamwork is essential to this process and each person has a job to do. The most obvious and necessary role is to pump the cement into place. It is important to keep moving. Time is a factor as the cement is beginning to dry from the moment it is poured. Just as important is making sure there are no air bubbles in the foundation. This is done by various types of vibration. As you can see here, pounding with the hammer is one of those methods. Meanwhile, blemishes in the surface are removed and smoothed over by a worker with a trowel. Another way of removing air bubbles from the cement is by using a tool which vibrates a long probe pushed into the cement as it's poured. As you can see here, both methods are being used at the same time. With time being a factor, everyone works together to pour as quickly as possible. After the foundation is complete, the dirt that was excavated will be replaced and the foundation will be flush with the surface of the ground. 